If you read the video title and clicked on the thumbnail and honestly did not know the answer to the question, then let me save you the trouble of sitting through the rest of this video. Yes, ships with just a single, ships with triples, and even those with quadruples are all present and canonical in the wide world of Star Trekle. Bad attempts at rhyming out of the way. In this video today we are going to look at some examples of ships with different numbers of nacelles from the usual two. We're only looking at cannon vessels today and only Starfleet ships at that, but for each category a wide array of fan designs exist. And with that out of the way, let's move on to our first category, single nacelle ships. In Starfleet, we have two major classes of ship which use just a single nacelle. And one of these classes exists in two distinct subclasses. These are the Saladin Destroyers and Hermes Scouts, and the Freedom Class Escort. The Saladin and Hermes classes share an identical external appearance, which makes it hard to impossible to tell them apart being a little more than a constitution saucer and nacelles connected to a Connie neck. But while the Hermes is a lightly armed scout ship, the Saladin is a more heavily armed destroyer meant for fleet actions. Both designs date from the middle of the 23rd century. In the real world, the ships were developed for the FASA board games and made canon appearances as background art in several original series movies, sorry basically appearing for a few instants on the computer monitors of the Enterprise Bridge in a blink-or-you-miss-it cameo. Next up is the Freedom Class, a small escort ship from the 24th century. I actually did a video on the class recently. Watch it if you want to hear my take on at the ship's backstory, but at least one member of this class was seen in the wreckage in the aftermath of the Battle of Wolf 359 in the TNG episodes Best of Both Worlds Part 1 and Part 2. So that's three classes, two of which appear identical, of single nacelle starships which exist in canon Trek. Although I will say they have not appeared very prominently. And with the single nacelle out of the way, let's now move on to three nacelled ships. In Trek canon, there are three ships which exist that only have three nacelles. Only one of which appears very prominently. Firstly, we have the Federation class Dreadnought. These ships were battleships operated by Starfleet during the 23rd century, and again, they come from the FASA board games. In the Starfleet Technical Manual, we got a list of members of this class, and in the motion picture we can hear the names and registries of several of these ships being listed in the opening scenes of the movie. It is thus inferred that these are the same ships as exist in the Technical Manual. Same class, I mean, as they share the same names and registries. After this is the Niagara-class cruiser, a mid-sized ship operated in the middle of the 24th century that I also did a video on. I do a lot of videos about weird and random Star Trek ships. You should definitely check them out. At least one member of this class was lost during the Battle of Wolf 359, and its wreckage can be seen briefly on screen. And finally, we get to the most prominent three-nacelled ship on this list, the Galaxy-class Dreadnought. This is from an alternate future in the TNG series finale constructed by Q, but the fact Picard accepts the design without much comment suggests that this is a feasible design that fits in the universe, arguably the greatest proof that ships with odd-numbered nacelles, while unusual and, and far from commonplace, are not impossible, unlike what some people may believe online. With that done, let's move on to the most numerous weird, oddball nacelle arrangement, these being the four nacelle ships. And oh boy, there are a lot of four nacelle designs out there. From obscure ones like the four nacelle Excelsior design studies, to very well known and popular designs like the Constellation class. Discovery also has this weird propensity for having four nacelle designs. There are quite a lot of them, and some of them, like the Cardanus class, actually look really, really nice, I think. A departure from the usual oddness of Discovery. Because there are so many ships with four nacelles, I think this is the category with the least objections raised about its canonicity and poss possibility within the universe. So instead of giving a detailed list of every four nacelled ship, let me just say that I find the Constellation class to be really cool looking 
and it's probably in my top five favorite Star Trek ship classes. And there we have some canon designs of ships that many fans out there seem to think are impossible. So next time someone says in an internet forum or a video comment section something to the effect of, this single nacelle ship or that three nacelle vessel is impossible and cannot exist with canon Star Trek, you can direct them here for a list of ships which prove that the design is not only possible, but that canon examples exist. Honestly, this video was mostly made because I was browsing some fan art on DeviantArt and stumbled across one design which I really liked, but found a very ignorant guy in the comments saying it could not exist and attacking the artist for not being a true fan and knowing that this design was impossible when in fact it seems that he's not the true fan because it seemed his knowledge of Trek ships was limited to the Enterprise, both original and TNG iterations. At least that was the basis of his arguments. Not really sure where he was going from, but it spawned this video. So, is this video a bit petty? Yes. Did it need to be made? No. But is making this video a better way of spending my time than trying to correct a guy with a comment of my own? Definitely yes. And also it's something that you can use, because these arguments do break out every now and then, and I like having a video to direct people to, so there. Either way, I hope that you enjoyed this video and maybe learned something. Either way, I will see you in the next one. Yes.